Welcome to day 26 of Pal World with Rilovich, and the controversial topic of today <laughs> is do all pals deserve big beds? Comment down below what you think on the topic. This playthrough today is one of the glitchiest I've ever been through. I have a shiny disappear right in front of me towards the end of this. If you haven't already seen the other episodes, go back and watch them now, please. Is that a big one or maybe large? That's what I want is a, a, a huge frost egg. Oh my god, it's a huge. It looked kind of big. That is beautiful. We got a large flame egg to open up. I really only want to do huges though. I do a large if I have no other option. I also need to do more dungeons so I can make more of those incubators. I want a stupid amount of them. Yeah, there's a large. I basically am forced to catch the ones that are up here. Oh, it just had to turn around. That one's it, huh? Yes, yeah, it. See, I wonder why it's double hidden right now. Sometimes it just rips through them. It doesn't do this all the time, though. I mean, that's okay, I guess. I want better minions. Sheesh. I need something tastier than that. <laughs> Is this thing ready to hatch yet? Oh, man. Oh, wow, we get two of them to hatch. Yeah, we really do need more of these, though, even even now. It's not like they're expensive. They're actually reasonable, so I'm kind of okay with it. The bed's kind of covered. Probably could design it a little bit better, but it, I'm okay with this. This thing right here, pointless. I don't think I can put incubators between the beds, though. That's the only reason it's right there. Alright, I kind of like what's going on here. Is there no place for another bed? Yeah, those are the only two beds out of place. Let me see if I can fix this. I don't have high-quality stuff. My hand's forced here. I gotta put this down. Could probably do a bigger bed design. I really am about having them all with the big beds. Go sleep right quick so everybody wakes up and gets some work done. Alright, that should do the trick. Oh no! We got all the eggs on us, forgot about that. Three thousand wheat? Oh man. Oh, I didn't even know it was like that. Something tells me I have a better minion for wool at this point. There's gotta be a level two wool maker around here. Nothing, I don't think. I think there was something that made high quality wool in the base. Alrighty then. Let's say four hours? Oh wow, these are not hard to crack at all. Oh, we got the large one done. Those are kind of hard to catch in the wild, so that's not bad. Most of these suck. I got lucky on my first one or second. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Those are annoying to catch. That's very nice. Run to this other base, put him in there. Oh, he's level one. What a cute. Oh, he has electric two, movement three. That's by far the best one. I'm gonna max all these out with huge eggs, and it's just gonna be a huge return. A good video, too. A whole title in itself. I think it's good. Not bad. Let me see what new weapons I get from this. But yeah, we're gonna get the resources stocked like no other while we off today. I I really didn't AFK much last time. I had to make sure the base was spawning the ore in, which actually takes a few hours. You lose a lot of resources when you gotta do that. And the bird, he's like able to go over the incubators and get to this. It is brilliant. I think anything would be able to walk a path besides one of those giant minions. Super nice. Alright, anything new to craft? Nothing new. 
Oh yeah, the Giga Grappling Gun. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Hyper though, so no point really. We're coming into that real late game though. I want ice grenades, actually. I really do. I think the fire grenades and the ice grenades are brilliant to have in the inventory. The rockets are cool, but it's like... You don't really need that all the time. You can mix it up. I think the fire and ice are like for attribute advantage. I still can't believe we started all this low stuff. I love the experience. My friend was just talking to me on the phone about that. Probably should have unmuted. Um, but his friends juice the settings, which is what Sebi did. I mean, I, I don't want to juice the settings. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and they're already bored of the game. It's basically burnt them out already. I'm just now kind of getting into it after so many weeks, so I told him just play on hard. It's 2 million XP to max, and we still got a ways to go. Because once you're max, you still have tons of content. I want to max so I can build my bases and because i'm not just redoing it every set you know late early game mid game and late game i just want to do a late game build all right but we're gonna go on the stream appreciate everybody for tuning in today we're gonna hit that pal world as per usual see if we can get some banging pals we got some balls in we got more supplies than we could ever ask for for afk in Get him! Oh, that might kill. I'm really sick of that. That's a really high percent to be missing. I don't know why I died there, just to be fair. There's a shiny, and I can hear it behind me on the map. Wait, no, it's here? It's a cat. <laughs> oh my god, it's a cat. Hold up, where's something to work with? Oh god, we might not get that. Why is he running from me? Cold resistant. Oh god. Oh, the spear assembly lines are over here. Dude, he's dipping. What is this? Kronk, help. help, please. I'm starting not to hear him anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Why did he take off running like that? Like, what is that? What, what, what's my shiny look? He just like dipped. Look at him. He's just hauling at He knows what he is. He's valuable. Okay, I'm not tripping. He was just right there, right? I just saw him in the hit right here. Is he that fast? This game eats that kind of stuff up with these shinies. I will respect the fact that I've seen a couple though, and in Pokemon I've never seen one. And I've played a couple Pokemon games. Oh, It's to the point though that I do just get nervous when I see them and not excited. Because... <laughs> 
And I get even more nervous if it's what I need to the collection. They're so hard to catch, it's ridiculous. Alright, now hopefully I don't freeze to death when I go over here. Oh, it's cold. Go, 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 go. We just need the armor. There we go. I've been debating on a lot if the Glel Claw is actually worth it. Because in a boss fight in particular, you you really could use that minion. Sometimes you get on that last one and it's useless. I saw that on one of my homie stream. All right. Yo, it's so hard not to just catch all these guys. You're gonna get killed if you don't get in the ball. the loot I'm not that much of a fiend kill him kill him bird don't don't let this happen to me please stop please stop attack it you're just like gonna wait till they can get one attack off on me. This is what I mean by this game's glitchy. I just had the mercy there. Oh, I need these flowers actually. They are destroying my Ragnarok. I just saw a bullet go by, I'm pretty sure. Did you see that bullet? After an extremely glitchy day on Power World, I hope things get to normal next episode. Tune in next time on episode 27 of Power World with Rilla Vetch, where we search some brand new volcano dungeons.